Hey, 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 what is up YouTube and welcome back to 60 Seconds for Adam Mice where we're going to do another challenge. We're going to do the Shelter Alone Challenge. I haven't even read it, so I don't know what's I do not know what's going to happen. I don't know what's coming, but I hope you guys will enjoy the video and let's go. The McDoodles set out for a family expedition but make the but make the classic mistake of forgetting their son. Little Timmy has the shelter all for himself, but a pair of bandits have their eye on the seemingly abandoned McDoodle bunker. Can Timmy protect his home until his parents return? Protect the shelter for 30 days. Timmy only, no expeditions, acts disabled. What the fuck? How? <laughs> what? Okay. It's only Timmy and we can't do anything? So this is all choice based. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Day one. This is going to be tough. How are we supposed to then get food and stuff? Alone in the shelter. Finally alone. So many possibilities. So, so much space. Thankfully, Ted and Dolores left some supplies behind. They took the axe. So this rifle will, ha will have to do if anyone tries to make trouble. What do we have to, to protect ourselves with? Only the rifle? That's not good. But anyway... Let's continue, let's go. You are fine, I'm guessing. Oh dear, we just remembered we plan on, oh, okay. We have to survive for 30 days, guys. Holy shit. Let's go. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Okay, Timmy is still fine. A polite knock on the door turned into a loud banging. Oh no, it's a bandit crew. And they're trying to break down the door. Uh, boom. I guess. No shots. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is already messed up. We were able to hit one of them with a lucky sh uh, ricochet. And that scared them off. As he was running away holding his buttocks. He cried over his shoulder, we'll be back and we're gonna get you, you little jerk. Who cries, with, uh, we're gonna get you, you little jerk, if they want to raid me and I shoot at them? Thirsty, you can wait. Every new smell, uh, smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what source of that smell is. No. What if he gets sick? Maybe I should have said yes. Okay. It should be dehydration now. We decided to ignore the whole distension and anything that might happen because of it. We've taken enough risk already. We ended up feeling a bit unwell. Okay, well, he's not sick. Uh, dehydration. Wouldn't it be fantastic? <laughs> Wouldn't it be fantastic? Wouldn't it be fantastic if we actually won this challenge? These challenges are hard. I have nothing to defend myself now with. Still, it's better than safe than uh, dead up there. It's freezing cold outside. The bandits probably expect us to huddle in the corner with a blanket. So it's the perfect time to stand up and fight. We need to set an uh, effective trap. Is there any way we can use this nuclear winter to our advantage? I don't know. Let's use the playing cards. I don't know. I've never gotten this one. Uh, let's use the playing cards. How am I going to survive on one can and I can cannot go on any expeditions? The truck did nothing to stop the bandits. Maybe a different uh, item would have done the trick. Fortunately, it sounded like these thugs lost their flashlight and couldn't find the bunker door in the dark of the night. I used that for nothing? They circled the perimeter for some time, shouting about being scanned by kindergartens, gardeners, before remembering that one of them is scared of the dark and giving up. Next time, we might not be so lucky. Uh, we've been hearing strange noises lately. Oh, uh, shit. This is, this is going to be a challenge. It's only day seven. He's gonna be hungry now. Boredom can really uh, get you in you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Hungry? Hungry, thirsty, okay. 
The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Kinda have to use the bottle. Oh my goodness, okay. We finally have a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than what we do, okay. Hungry dehydration. We found a box outside, wrapped in what, wrapped in what seems like six different types of wrapping paper. The note says, mom is making me write this. I hate you, try not to die, or whatever, Mary Jane. Uh, it could be a bomb or something worse. Let's open it! Please don't get sick. <coughs> Please don't be sick. Please don't be sick. Please don't be sick. What happened? Oh, we got a harmonica! Let's go. A gift. <laughs> we might be uh, safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. This is not good, guys. This is not good. I'm not getting any, like... Uh, I need... Oh, he went crazy. <laughs> Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least one hour of sleep. No luck. Starvation and crazy. Something needs to be done before the bandits return, we know for a fact. Shit! How the hell do you survive this without going- Oh my god, I already died. <laughs> what? We spent so long considering all the possibilities, we ended up doing nothing at all before the bandit showed up. I made it to day 11? What? Let's go. Day 1. Now it's ra more random. Three bottles of water. Did we start with three last time? Alone in the shelter. Duh, duh, duh. We always thought we could life. <laughs> We make of the day. Okay. It should be fine. A polite knock on the door turned into a loud banging. Let's just skip it and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> we have to defend that one. <laughs> I made it three days. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? We've survived three days. So the longest I've survived is 11 days. Holy shit. Come on, baby. Now we're going to do it. So the first one to two days is nothing, right? There's a mask now. And a flashlight. Items are randomized. I think. Anyway. The first day is so easy to just skip. Holy shit. Okay. Is this where the bandits comes in? Yep. The gun is gone. Uh, he should be thirsty, yes. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if the, that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try to something, doing something about it with whatever we brought down here. I'm not going to use the mask. Should I use the suitcase? I'm going to use nothing and see if he gets sick. Please don't be sick. He's not sick and we sacrificed nothing. The, we couldn't figure out it out so we just assumed that, that that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. Dehydration. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on the uh, sheltered door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Please don't end. 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 Yes! Four! We got a bottle of water. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Thank you, travelers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I'm sick. Fuck. These bandits will surely get in uh, if we don't figure out a way to stop them. Let's use the suitcase for some reason. Why would you use a suitcase though? Suitcase is gone. Did it help? 
The suitcase was loaded with rocks, empty cans, and other junk, and placed uh, atop the broken wall with a piece of string, a tripwire. We got ourselves a functional booby trap. The bandits walked right into it too. One was knocked out clean and the other uh, got an empty can stuck on his head. We could hear them, him bumping into things while he dragged his unconscious friend away. We hope we never see either of you jerks again. We shouted for good measure, but we know we probably will. Uh, hungry, okay. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of those bricks got loose today, reveal the hole. Uh, yes, check it out. It might be another kind of soup. Let's go. Okay, well, we're already doing better than the second. It's a can of soup. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's give him some food. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the ri same rights. We don't have to do anything with the spiders. They won't do anything. We decided we could get rid of the spiders with our bare hands. Feed and whatever the body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. Dehydration. There is a package outside wrapped in crumbled newspaper. It's basically a shapeless blob, but it has a note attached. It reads, you're the man of the, house, the shelter, boy. That is from dad? Would it be the harmonica? Please be a medkit, please be a medkit. What was it? A suitcase, we got another suitcase. It was definitely a gift and not some cruel prank, how nice. And some though love, oh, what? And some though tough love won't do more harm than the than A-bomb, the radioactive mutants and the collapse of the society as we know it, right? Holy crap, okay. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Come on to me! Day 10. We perished at day 11. Woo! Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Okay. Still hungry. It's freezing cold outside. The bandits probably expect us to huddle. We don't have playing cards. We have to use the water. What was that sound? Okay. We pulled one of the most obvious pranks of all time by spilling water on the pathway outside and letting it freeze overnight. Oh, how we laughed when the bandits were busy making clumsy purettes and cursing helplessly. We laughed a bit too loud. They took offense and pledged in so many derogatory words, some of which they clear, clearly invented. <laughs> Shit. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and the unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife roaches weren't there before. Yeah, we're not going to do anything with that. Day 12. This is the furthest we've gone. Oh my, the thing is huge, and there goes another one. Time to ration supplies, dehydration. We found a box outside wrapped in what seems like six uh, different types of wrapping paper. The note says, Mom is making me write this. Is this uh, the harmonica or playing cards again? I might die. Oh, I got a book. Wait, I got that, and I got a book, so now I can make meds. It was a gift, a real gift. Nothing toxic. Let's go. Salvation. Surviving on here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this this will blow over soon. Okay, we're almost halfway, guys. We're almost halfway. Make them meds. We're trying our best to remain calm. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Okay, let's investigate it. Please give me a minute quick. No. Okay, it's not, it's not the end. It's day 15. We're halfway. 
Uh, the light still works. What if we find nothing? The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what is blocking it. However, when you shine a flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. Do 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 do. Sick, hungry, hurt. I got hurt. Shit. Something needs to be done before the banners return. We know for a fact at least one of them barefoot. Okay. What are we gonna do with the checkered board? Day 16, boy, day 16, let's go! The checkered pizza was set in place as predicted. The at as predicted, the the at least one. Okay. Uh, one of the invaders was barefoot and soon terrible screams could be hear heard outside. Seems like good old American checkers are much worse than that new Danish invention. Legos. The pain will be back. We know that you're in there and that you're all alone. Day 16, let's go. Dehydration again. The, these cockroaches are playing around. They're very territorial and they're leaving us less and less space every day. We need to do something about it. What if we don't do anything? What will happen? Day 17, we're not dead. Can I not make a medkit, please? Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. Starvation. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to check it out. Who's below us? Oh shit, there's a knock. Pandas are coming. Medkit! We found a medkit! We found treasure down there. Pills, bottles and other medical supplies were stacked on a few shelves down in a narrow room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us. We didn't find the source of the noise. Yeah! Let's heal our bois. Ooh. How much food do I have? I have enough actually, I'm not gonna trade anything. Day 18 boy, day 18, day 19, let's go. 11 more days. That salesman was very friendly, that's nice. Thirsty hungry. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse. I do not have a map. Mom, dad, sis, give me some presents, hello. I actually have nothing to defend myself with. Dehydration. Last time the bandits threatened to light up this dump with torches to finish the job. Since we don't have our own torches to fight with fi fire with fire, is there anything else we could use against them? Flashlight? Oh, bug spray! We can create fire or whatever. Okay, we're not dead. That is the main point. Bug spray is gone. Mission! Blowtorch was a success. Once we heard the door open, we unloaded the whole can at the nearest torch, causing quite a, f a fiery, fiery explosion. The bandits did not enjoy our explosive welcome and scattered, shouting something about flamethrowers. Let's go! Okay. Hungry? He, we always wanted the pet, but we just can't, couldn't decide what to get. A cat, a dog, no matter. We have our own very own co uh, cockroach colony. Just do nothing about it. What will happen? Eight more days, guys. Eight more days. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy. Okay, whatever. Starvation. There's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something out of the nasty water. Can we? Can we really? Please don't mess it up. Did we get playing cards? Okay, so we got playing cards in instead. Uh, shit. There's a package with a pretty ribbon on top uh, waiting outside. Little scout love mom. What did they give us? If they know I'm here, why don't they come? Six more days, guys. Come on. Our Monica. Flop. Dehydration. 
It's hard to keep track of the uh, time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Okay, five more days. Come on, little Timmy. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least one hour of our sleep, but no luck. The Bannons will surely be back soon. One of their biggest advantages is that they have the numbers and they know it. What if we made? What if we made? them think we've brought reinforcements we don't have anything no no okay it's not the end we spent so long considering all the possibilities we ended up doing nothing at all before the bandit showed up again and show up they did fortunately it sounded like these thugs lost their flashlight and couldn't find out the bunker door in the night that is lucky it seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take place. It's time to do something about it. I don't want to do something about the cockroaches. Day 27. Come on. Give me something to fight with. Our time will come. When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but... Oh, shit. We can't do anything. Two more days! Come on! I have a flashlight, a book, and a mask. Dehydration. Oh dear, we just remember we plan on taking control. Okay? Last day, boys. Last day, guys. Last day, last day, last day. Come on. Come on. Does th doesn't this just mean we're fine? Let's give him everything. The relentless thugs are approaching again and we didn't prepare anything. Maybe they will uh, show us mercy. No. Not after all the hell that they went through. They mean business. Let's just hope they slip on the ladder. Booyah! The end. We made it! We finished the challenge. Hey! Look at all the presents. Hey! Timmy's dog! We survived and we got Timmy his dog and his presents and this is just great. And the cat is there. The Lord's Ted, Mary Jane, Pancake, and Sharika finally returned and jumped the thugs from behind. Biting, kicking, hissing, barking, throwing punches, and wrapped Christmas gifts. The bandits barely escaped with their lives. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Now, let's unwrap the presents. Oh, it's soup. And more soup. They're all soup. Are we stuck? We're not stuck, okay? <laughs> nice. Let's go! Easy challenge. This was hard the first two times. Holy shit. Alright dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The first two times was actually so much harder. But it turned out and I figured it out. We got this. We got this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next ones. Take care and happy weekend. Let's go!